three very simple ways on how to eliminate those limiting beliefs that hold you back from living your absolute most amazing desires and dreams. So tip number one, stop living in the past. Now, when we live in the past, we are literally blinded from the future. We can't see a thing if we're constantly focusing on the past. If you're always looking behind you, you're never going to be able to see what's in front of you. And that is why windscreens on a car are bigger than the back windscreens. Because you need to look forwards more than you need to look back. Now, it's still important to look back. It's still important to look at the lessons that you've been over in your past in order to help you in your future. But if you're not focusing on your future, if you're not focusing on where you're going, you're going to crash the car. If you don't see that lamppost, you're going to crash into that lamppost. So understand that if you're looking at your past and you're living in your past, nothing's going to change. Things that happen in our past, we can learn dramatically from. We can learn things from when people belittle us to when people empower us. We can learn that if we do something, for example, exercise, meditation, this empowers us. We're going to learn that if we constantly do that, we're going to get the same result. And same could be said for if you take drugs. This is what you can learn can harm you. And if you have that belief, great, brilliant. But not everyone has that belief. I never used to have that belief until I realised how much it did harm me. Then I had to step out of that. So I'm grateful for my past. I'm grateful for things, everything that happened in my past. But I'm not staying there. I use it as stories. I use it to tell people how I change so they can change. But I don't live there. I live now, but I also look to the future. When you're living now, you're present in the moment. You're grateful for the little things. Great things happen in your life. When you've got a desire, a future, somewhere to reach, more great things happen in your life. Stop living in the past, start living in the present, but also look to the future. When you can nail that, life gets easier and easier and easier. Step number two is reprogram this subconscious mind of yours. Now, we all have a subconscious mind, we have a conscious mind. 95% of our life is lived through the subconscious mind. So, 95% of our life is habitual. So, what you did yesterday, what you did today, what you will do tomorrow, is most likely routine, is most likely a habit. The side you get out of your bed. The breakfast you eat in the morning. Now, I've probably eaten avocado on toast eight months straight, every single morning, because I love it. It's healthy, and I love it. If it was chocolate pancakes every morning, probably isn't too healthy, probably isn't a great habit to have. Now, don't get me wrong, I still eat my chocolate. I still love my chocolate, but I'm conscious of what I eat. The more healthy I can eat, the more little treats I can give myself. The more I go to the gym, the more little treats I can give myself. It's about the yin and the yang of life. So when you can reprogram your subconscious mind, as I just said, we live 95% of it through, that's when your life will change. Because on a conscious level, I can say to you right now, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. But if my thoughts aren't matching my emotions and my feelings, nothing is changing. If I stand there saying, I am happy, I am blessed, I'm amazing, I'm grateful. You can see straight away my physiology has changed and I'm turning into a person that is happy. When you've got the physiology of a happy person, you start to walk like them, talk like them, gain the confidence like they do. And eventually over time, it becomes a program and it becomes part of you. Now, how do you reprogram your subconscious mind, you might be asking. Now, there's a few very, very simple ways to do this and you don't have to go out of your way to pay for it. You can start doing it as of today. Now, I'd recommend to go out of your way to pay for it because when you get the results from someone who knows what they're talking about, you're going to get better and faster results. And that's just a proven strategy. It's like if you went to go and play football. If you want to play with the best footballer in the world, you're going to get better results than if you went and played with someone who, who never played football in their life. And that's just a fact. So, if you want to reprogram your mind, I'm going to give you the three strategies first. So, there's something called self-hypnosis, and there's also something called subliminal messaging. Now, self-hypnosis, I'm going to go into it on another video, so find that on my channel as and when in the next few weeks. But self-hypnosis is very simple. It's about putting yourself into a very, very relaxed state. When you're in a very relaxed state, then you match your thoughts with your feelings and emotions. That's when it starts to align, and that's when great things start to happen. So if you can align your thoughts, feelings, and emotions while you're in a state of self-hypnosis, you can recreate this image, this, this visualization in your head constantly, and you can get yourself there. You can feel it, you can see it, you can touch it, you can smell it, you can taste it, everything, all your senses, you can hear it. That's when it will start to manifest itself. So the more you do it, the easier it gets. Then in turn, it starts to manifest. So you can use self-hypnosis. And if you do want me to make another video, it will be coming out soon. But please do comment and say, 
show me how to self hypnotize myself. Because when you can do it, that's when it life changes. When I learned that, woo -hoo, <laughs> I learned to change my life. The next one is subliminal messages. Now, subliminal messages, I sometimes still listen to now. Now, they're things that you can listen to over and over again on your laptop when you're going to bed, especially when you're going to bed, because you're, you're changing your brain waves. Now, you can get different brain waves from meditation, from hypnosis. So that's why hypnosis is so effective, because when you're changing your brain waves, you're much more suggestible to what's being said. So, for example, if you are being hypnotized, and someone is telling you that you can lose weight, that weight falls off you, or that you can stop smoking, you will no longer desire cigarettes again. Or you deserve abundance. You can have abundance. Abundance comes to you. Now, I've helped people with these specifically myself. So I know that these work. I know hypnosis works. I'm a hypnotherapist. And I know that this stuff works. And it works very quickly. Within one, predominantly I do one session with people and their life's changed. Sometimes it may take three. It depends on how deep down these programs are in your brain. You need to fish them out, throw them away, install something else. Just like a computer. Wiping the old hard drive, filling it up with new antivirus software. <laughs> also, you can use things like NLP. Now, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Again, I'm an NLP uh, practitioner. And I use these strategies to help myself, but also help other people. Now, it's very easy to use NLP because all it is is reprogramming the wires. You're literally picking up the wires, taking that one out, moving that one around. You're like the mechanic for the mind, essentially. That's what I do. So what I do is I help you by changing your connections to specific things. If your connection to chocolate is, I absolutely love chocolate. I, there's nothing better than chocolate. But you know that this chocolate, the next chocolate bar you eat will kill you. You need to change that program very quickly. <laughs> or bad things are going to happen. Obviously, it will kill you. So if you can change that program, which is very simple to do. It's about association. I can change that very quickly and help you get what you want to get. So obviously you can pay for hypnotherapy and NLP and if you would like to, by all means, let me know. But I just wanted to give you the three, the three things because I understand you want to do stuff first. You want to try it out yourself. Try it out yourself and if you would like help with it, by all means, come and find me. So the third and final strategy is remove negative people from your life. What we listen to, who we listen to, is who we become. If you have 10 friends that are, a mil that are all millionaires and you're not a millionaire yet, you will become a millionaire very, very soon. Unless you're so negative that they do not want to spend time with you. <laughs> now, that's why positive people don't tend to spend time with negative people because they realise that negative energy does drain you. And it does. Don't get me wrong. I was negative myself. I used to be very negative. Then I went extremely positive and thought nothing bad could ever happen. But I sort of dialed it down a little bit because I realised that it's not sustainable to be positive every single day of your life. And it's not. There's going to be bad days. There's going to be great days. It's about maintaining that level of positivity so that you can become the best version of yourself. So, remove those negative people. Stop listening to the news. All the negativity that you're taking in, you want to get rid of that forever. If they are people that, you've loved, that you love, if they are people that you want to stay around, change yourself first. Spend less time with them. Inspire them to change to what you have changed because monkey see, monkey do. If they see someone change their life completely, they will ask them how they did it. If they've never seen them change their life, then they're going to struggle and be like, but you're, you've never done it, so how, why would I listen to you? And that's understandable. So utilise the power of removing negative people by removing those who you really don't need in your life. And this just could be people that you've known for a while. Now, I've done it myself. It doesn't mean I'm better than anyone. It just means I needed to get away from specific people in order to become the person that I wanted to become. And if you don't want to become the right per that type of person, then you don't have to. But you can't complain if you're not willing to change. Because if you're not willing to change, and you're complaining, it's down to yourself. We have the choice to make the change. We all have a choice. I could get up, I could go back to taking drugs. But my choice is not to. My choice is to stay on my path that I'm on right now. If you see what I'm saying. So remove those negative people. And use your power of transformation to inspire those that you want to stay around that may still be negative right now. So thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope this has given you some insight. Kill those limiting beliefs. Get rid of them forever. If you do need any help with this at all, I can do this in one to two sessions very, very easily. Please do let me know. Have an amazing day. Keep smiling, spreading love, kindness and positivity.